Statistics on the SSA exam causing some confusion? No worries. Today, we're breaking down question 3 from the study guide. Let's dive in and make sense of it together. Hello everyone, eager to conquer another SSA exam question, let's get ahead quick with SOQ Rick. In this session, we're focusing on statistics, a crucial part of mathematics that deals with collecting, analyzing, and interpreting data. We're diving into question three from the SSA exam study guide. If you haven't had a chance to review the guide, I've linked it in the description below. Statistics is everywhere in our daily lives. From understanding survey results to analyzing trends in industries, it helps us make informed decisions based on data. And in this question, we'll be using basic statistical methods to find out the difference in average salaries. Before we dive into the question, let's get a quick grasp on averages. Think of the average as finding the middle ground of a group of numbers. To get it, you simply add up all the numbers and then divide by how many numbers there are. Imagine you have three candies in one hand and nine in the other. If you were to share them equally between the two hands, you'd have an average of six candies in each hand. Simple, right? Here's the question. The clerk who worked in Department A earned the following salaries. $15,105 the first year, $15,750 the second year, and $16,440 the third year. Another clerk who worked in Department B for three years earned $15,825 a year for two years and $16,086 the third year. The difference between the average salaries received by both clerks over a three-year period is A. $147 B, $153, C, $261, D, $423. For Clerk A, add up the salaries, $15,105 plus $15,750 plus $16,440 equals $47,295. Now, divide by 3 to get the average, $47,295 divided by 3 equals $15,765. For Clerk B, add up the salaries, $15,825 times 2, plus $16,086 equals $47,736. Again, divide by 3 for the average, $47,736 divided by 3 equals $15,912. Now, find the difference. $15,912 minus $15,765 equals $147. So the correct answer is A, $147. Did you know, we use the concept of an average in various real life scenarios, not just in exams. For instance, when you hear about the average temperature for the week or the average score in a sports league, it's the same principle at play. Averages help us get a quick snapshot or a general idea about a set of data without diving into every single detail. Bonus tip, always remember to double check your calculations when working with averages. A minor error in addition or division can lead to a completely different result. And when you're preparing for an exam, practice makes perfect. The more you work with numbers and solve problems, the more confident you'll become. If you found this explanation helpful, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more insights on the SSA exam. Drop your questions or topics you'd like covered in the comments below. And remember, every question decoded brings you one step closer to acing that exam. I'll see you in the next video.